Today we are showing you how to talk about sports with the verbs play, go, and do. Hello and welcome to English Speaking 360. Here's a quick test. You have to choose between play, go, and do. What about bowling? Judo. Yoga. Snorkeling. They are not so easy, are they? Now, in this video, we're going to show you 27 sports and activities, and you will know exactly whether you should use play, go, or do. First, we use play for games, of course. So, we play bingo, we play darts, play Jenga, and play foosball or play table soccer. We also use play for music instruments. Play the guitar, play the piano play the drums, play the cello. But the most important use of play is this. We use play for team sports, ball sports, and sports that use specific equipment. It's not so easy to decide, so let's go with a short quiz. Cricket. Do you think we use play for the sport cricket? Yes, we do. We say play cricket because cricket is a team sport. It's also a ball sport and it uses a lot of specific equipment. How about badminton? Do we say play badminton? Yes, we do. Once again, specific equipment. It's not really a ball. It's a shuttlecock. But the racket is definitely specific equipment. How about bowling? Do we say play? No, we don't. We say go bowling. And watch out with this one because all of my students always say, I play bowling or I like to play bowling with my friends. But we don't say that. We say go bowling. It's not difficult, is it? Let's move on to go. We use go with sports ending in ing. Now, this is key. Also, for outdoor sports, for example, right here, I go swimming. But these ones can also be verbs at the same time. So you would say, I swim also. How about this one now? Now you know this one. So I go bowling or you can also say, I bowl. Here's a quiz for you. Surfing. Do we say go surfing? Yes, we do, because it ends in ing, and it's an outdoor sport. I like to go surfing, and you can also use it as a verb, so you can say, I like to surf. How about fishing? Yes, we say, I go fishing. I like to go fishing, or I like to fish. How about weightlifting? Do we say, go weightlifting? No, we don't. We say do weightlifting and we are going to see why in just a second. Last but not least, do. We use do for gym sports or gym activities. So anything you do at the gym, you have to use do. Anything also that includes or requires a physical effort on your part is do. And also, martial arts. All the martial arts we use do all the time. Here's a quiz for you. What about taekwondo? Do we say do taekwondo? Yes, we do. We say I do taekwondo because it's a martial art. How about Zumba? Also, we say do Zumba because it's a gym activity. Here's a basic summary for you, and it's really good. So with play, team sports, ball sports, equipment, games, and music, go, verbs ending in ing, outdoor sports, and they can also be verbs, of course, and do, physical effort, martial arts, and gym. Now let's keep this because this is the basic. Now let's test your knowledge. Here we go. How about yoga? Which one would you use for yoga? And the answer is, do yoga because it's a gym activity. How about ice hockey? We say, 
play ice hockey because it's a team sport and it uses specific equipment. Hiking. Hiking is an outdoor sport, so we say go hiking. Spinning. This one should be easy. Now you know it's do spinning because we do it at the gym. What about pool? We say play pool. It's a game. Snowboarding. Go snowboarding. You can also say I snowboard. Curling. We play curling. I know many of you will say, oh, I like to go curling. You can also use it. Snorkeling. Go snorkeling for sure. How about this one now? Archery. Do archery, but many people would say, I practice archery. Good job, guys. Do you want to learn more useful English? Then check out the videos on the right-hand side. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.